Hello and good day to my fellow Capricorns. Honey, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. This is going to be a very interesting season for you, Capricorn, because yes, even though we're going into your time, your season of the month, right? Your season of the year, you are the only zodiac sign who birthday, literally, well, I want to say birthday, but uh, who tends to pop up twice in the year. You know what I'm saying? Like, you literally start the year off and you end the year. Isn't that interesting? Right? So you literally, um, you are like the Alpha and the Omega, Capricorn. But I'll tell you this. Get ready to lay down your burdens, okay? I started your cards off and some interesting things came to me. Um, and as I'm looking at the cards, I, of course I've seen amazing things about transitioning and moving forward and all that good stuff. But what I, what mainly stuck out to me when I was about to just even start speaking to you is get ready to lay down your burdens. That's what spirit put in my heart to tell you, my love. Lay down your burdens. It is no longer your fight. It is no longer your time to cry. You do not have to go into 2023 with your head down low, okay? Use this month of December, my love, to reevaluate what you really desire, you know? Even if it's, even if this is just your finances, if this is a reconnection with family, if this is building your brand, you know, rebuilding who you are as an individual, you know, every, it's so easy for people to point out your flaws when they think they know you, but it's something amazing that happens when you begin to shift and you begin to change who you are as a person. For some reason, people always want to remind you of who you used to be and what you used to do and how much you used to mess up. But I hear spirits saying, Hey, this is no longer my fight. I am laying down my burden, my love. Lay down your burden. You do not have to fight this war, okay? So, go into the month of December. Of course, I feel like you're going into the month of December strong, filled with love, filled with a lot of sass. Some of you could still be going through some minor hiccups, right? But for most of you, I feel like this is a very uplifting season for you, okay? Um, I feel like this is a reason for you to celebrate if you haven't begun already. Some of you will be getting um, an opportunity to go for a promotion if you haven't gotten already a promotion. Some of you will be getting a promotion or getting resources to be able to apply for some type of promotion, okay? Now, the interesting thing is we do have Mercury retrograding in your sign. Right, but we also gonna have Venus in your sign this month in December. And Venus is the planet that's all about love, of course, all about finances and beauty and um, just everything just gorgeous, right? And then, of course, we have the sun in your sign towards the end of the month. We have a new moon in your sign <laughs> this month. So this month is gonna be very much like a big, a hiccup or a big old hello or a big old goodbye for a lot of you, right? Now, interestingly enough, again, all of this hard work that you've been putting in, of course, is being recognized. We know that. But it's not being recognized by just your peers. This thing is being recognized by people who you don't even know see you. Like, they see you, right? Like, they see all of your hard work from afar. And... I feel like you're being heavily protected, like heavily protected. So for those, you know, it's gonna be it's interesting because there's a lot of energy here that want you to fail, and there's a lot of people who are constantly um, trying to spiritually attack you, is what I'm saying, right? But I feel like they have no control over the shift that is about to take place in your life. And the thing here is, you may not even notice that you are even going through some type of spiritual attack. You might just feel like, oh my God, every time I turn around, this is happening, this is going on, and 
Um, my life is out of control. My health is out of control. You know, I'm constantly feeling like you don't really have enough to feel fulfilled. And the reality is, is that that's not where you end up going into 2023. So it. Like I said, this month is kind of tricky in December, okay? You're being a lot more sensitive to energies. You might feel very nostalgic, very nostalgic um, periodically. Like, just throughout the month of December, you may have a lot of thoughts of, again, just about your future and what you would like to attain. And I feel like you will achieve those things, but it's like... This is not the season to lose focus, Capricorn. I tell you this all the time. Like, you are the master of manifestation, right? You are the alpha and the omega, right? You are the one that, like, you will start something, and no matter how tired or exhausted you are, you your patience is just outstanding. So it's like, no matter what you have gone through for the last few years, Capricorn, I promise you, the shifts that are about to take place and in going into 2023 is going to blow your mind. So use this month of December to really, truly get back focus because we have the, <clears throat> excuse me, we have the nine of wands, right? Laying down your burdens. And then, then we also have the knight of wands. And excuse me, guys, I don't even know if I even said the proper introduction but this is for capricorn sun moon rising and venus and capricorn and for the capricorn man and for the capricorn woman okay i'm not sure if i even did that or not but long story short capricorn moving along you have a very serious energy with you going towards the end of december because you're a lot more focused on Things that there's something that just keep nagging at you. You're a lot more focused on it. You want to target that thing. And I feel like this is the month to do it. In December, this is the month to target all of those problem areas that help um, your finances. You know, um, anything that you would like to change about yourself. Weight loss, whether it be something dealing with your physicality. You know, maybe you want to, um, or just, like, yeah, like your appearance. Maybe just want to spruce things up a little bit, right? Maybe you want to dye your hair. Maybe you want to cut your hair. Maybe you want to um, start painting more. Whatever this is, Capricorn, it's like this thing that just keep nagging at you is going to zoom in more and more and more as the month of December go on. Now, I know going in towards January, you have a lot to be thankful for. But here in December, you have a lot to heal you have a lot to heal through a lot to recover through a lot to forgive a lot to um i don't know i find some of you could just be even going back to therapy going back to counseling or marriage counseling some of you could be um reevaluating um your career trying to figure out if you really are in a place that you really want to be right So there's a lot of thought that's going to go into the month of December. But like I said, there's a lot happening with planets being heavily in your sign this month. Again, Mercury retrograding in your sign, so we know what that means. We take a back seat. We're looking at things with a much more methodical approach. Um, We're taking finances a lot more seriously, communication. We're taking that a lot more seriously. We are... Um, I think it's best that you guys double check your emails, your text messages, phone calls. Um, you may discover that you have like three voicemails that you don't even know you had. So make sure that you guys are constantly checking your voicemails, your messages. Make sure you check in your mailbox. I mean, I'm just as guilty. I will walk past my mailbox every single day and not check it. Um, so if you're like me and just don't even really care to check the mailbox make sure you check it anyway okay um because you just never know what you could be missing out on i feel like there's gonna be a silent need for healing right um especially when it comes to forgiveness healing uh relationships with friends family And they don't even have to be a big, long conversation. I just feel like it's something that's genuine, something that just come off natural. Like, hey, how are you? This is not a a thing where 
you I don't even feel like neither one of you or whoever whatever energy this is I don't really feel like anybody really wants to just say hey I'm sorry I just feel like it's just naturally gonna just flow so I don't know where that came from but I just feel like a lot of you are going through this healing process and it's a it's a harmonizing energy that's with you in the month of December so this is definitely going to help you going into January and I'm gonna tell you why all right in the month of January, it's going to be a lot of changes, of course. I already said that to you a thousand times, right? A lot of meaningful changes on both the internal and external levels, okay? Personal, professional, I mean, I'm just here for it, okay? Now, you are going to begin the year, like I said, Capricorn, with this Mercury retrograde in your sign, but the month is not going to be bad for you. A lot of you is probably like, oh my God, great, there will be another Mercury Mercury retrograde in my sign, blah, blah, blah. But trust me, this is not what you think it is. In the month of January, it's going to really bring about um, a newness to your life, okay? Now, it's going to be... An energy that you've been praying for because with Mercury retrograde you know the good thing is it allows things to kind of slow down so we can have a greater look at things okay and so Mercury is not gonna be the only one retrograding but I think that because it's retrograding in your sign you will have the opportunity to take your time with big decisions and to be able to fill things out, to have much more clarity, or at least to try anything that you want to sign or to study. I wouldn't sign anything at the moment, but I would definitely look into things. I would definitely read up on things. Any major changes though, like life changing decisions, I would not make it just yet. I will wait until after the 18th, give or take a day. Okay, so avoid pushing um, important matters um, especially decisions that don't need finalizing just yet, I would not rush to do it, okay? Um, that mean anything down to marriage, down to divorce, down to moving, down to renovating. I wouldn't do any of those things just yet. If you can hold off on it, hold off on it. Um, changing jobs, I wouldn't do that right now. I wouldn't quit my job right now. It's not good energy for that. However, work and partnership can be a little bit more complicated this month. So again, you want to take your time with your approach, all right? Now, it is going to be a good time to reflect. Again, because of all this energy that you're having in the month of December, you are going to go into the month of January with all those thoughts that you did have. So if your thoughts was very strong in December about saving money, you're going to be very much more in tune with saving your money in January. If your focus was more on, um, I need to get my health in line in January, that's what you're going to feel like. I need to focus more on my health. So it's like you're bringing this energy into January and you're sticking with it for the most part. Now, I do know there's going to be a full moon in your opposite sign, which is Cancer. Um, and that's going to bring you... Um, much more closer with your feelings of course because cancer is everything with feelings and the moon is literally exalted in cancer so this is what you got to do okay you need not to put too much pressure on yourself okay let things naturally unfold again don't feel like you're stuck don't feel like you don't have no way out because here with the Ace of Wands, we already confirmed that you're moving ahead beautifully, okay? You're basically naturally a goal-getter, naturally goal-oriented, well-organized, professional, classy, you know, all of those things. So we don't have to worry about you falling apart at the first sign of a piece of trouble, but we need you to stay focused, Capricorn, okay? Because again, these... December and January a very powerful month for you months for you because the, it's this listen the Sun is still in your sign so which means everything is still can work out in your favor but you have to stay focused you will feel very close to a project or decision only to discover some type of roadblock delay or even merely a sense that you're not quite ready for it all to come together so again it's important that you take your time 
Now, it is your birthday season. We get that, right? But it's also a good time for grabbing opportunities. Again, if you keep feeling like you got to keep going back and forth, saying, mm, should I apply for that promotion? Should I not? Should I do it? Should I not? Um, what do you really want to do? Like, do you really, really, truly want that position? And if you do, why do you keep second guessing yourself? What is it that you're afraid of? Okay. This year, you're going to start off slowly. But the month is a time, this month, especially going into January, is going to be a time of building your ambitions. So again, December is more about reflecting, reevaluating. And now January is putting your money where your mouth is. Okay. Now, delays and personal plans may be a part of the month, and that's okay. Like I said, it's not nothing that you cannot overcome. But things should be moving more smoothly after the 18th, okay? Now, by the time that all these retrogrades begin to come to an end, okay, you will begin to see rewards for all of your hard work and your health efforts. So, again, all of these things that you've been uh, putting your faith in, you know, saying, hey, let me work hard, let me study, let me save my money, um, let me study for that exam. You know, if you failed a test three times before, guess what? This can be a lucky break. So why not go for it again? Sometimes, usually after three times, most people give up. They say, nope, no, I'm not doing it, right? Some people start a program and within 60 days, they beat and give up. I tell you what, give yourself 90 days of this particular commitment that you have put out there, okay, Capricorn? Give yourself at least 90 days. Come up with some particular goal. I don't care if it's weight loss. I don't care if it's saving money. I don't care if it's um, saving money or to invest in your own personal projects. Whatever this is, give yourself 90 days of a commitment, right? Try this new position for 90 days or learn or train in this new position for 90 days see what you think about it what it makes you feel like when you wake up in the morning do you think about it do you breathe it right do you can you not stop thinking about it like what is it about you that make what is it about this thing that makes you want to just go for it right try this thing for 90 days and after 90 days if you feel in your hearts of heart hey this is not for me then hey you know you can let it go 90 days is more than enough time to decide in your heart that if something is what you want and if it's not, okay? I'm telling you, try it for 90 days. You will have your answer, especially by March. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to talk about March later. But I'm just saying, <laughs> the first six months of the year is going to be very fruitful for you. Um, I don't want to be spoiler, but it is. Okay, um, so just know all of these rewards is coming your way. There's a huge amount of abundance here. Okay, you are being rewarded, um, especially, I mean, like I said, I can, when I see the Knight of Wands, I get excited because I feel like this is going to be a time for you to express yourself, to be more intuitive, to be more ambitious. Okay, work complications will tend to iron itself out. Okay, any miscommunication that has been happening in a home front will naturally work itself out now while it's going to be a good time for you to pursue your goals and express yourself independently and taking care of your needs there's also going to be some type of um a stronger focus on your money and on your talents so make sure like i said a lot of you will feel a need to reconnect with something that you love or something that you have lost your focus on, especially these first six months of 2023. But I promise you, my love, it all starts here in the month of December. You have to stay focused. Stay focused on the prize. I promise you, I know you could be dealing with some hardships, especially those of you that are going through a lot in your health. A lot of Capricorns have been dealing with some ish in 2022 when it comes to their health. So I know that it's been hard, but you guys can get through this, okay? You are a lot more content, though, and patient 
going into the new year, okay? A lot of problems solving new ideas regarding work, money, and health matters can figure strongly in the last week of the month, okay? So the last week of December, or like the last two weeks of December, is like your energy was slowly kind of just diminish, right? And then beginning of the year is going to pick back up again. You're going to feel great. And then by the end of January, I'm not saying that your health is going to act crazy again. What I'm saying is you're going to reap the rewards for taking that time out for self-care, for taking that time out for self-love, for eating the right foods, for alkalizing your body, for exercising the right parts of your body, right? You're going to reap all of these rewards and they will come back to you for all these beautiful thoughts that you have had about saving your money for your investments, for your business, saving your money for your vacations, saving your money for just your children, for a college fund, whatever it is, it's going to be highly favorable by the end of January. You will reap the rewards. You will see exactly what I mean, that by expressing yourself with love and with kindness, you will begin to attract so many different opportunities and resources your way, okay? Now, let's look at love because we definitely got to get going. Now, love is very interesting because <laughs> I pu pulled out my two favorite decks, of course, right? Like, I love these decks, especially when it comes to love. They're so beautiful. Um, so I got one card here that says forgiveness. It says, stop focusing your energy on past events. Your life, well, no, 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 let's say for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think dream and imagine so it's interesting that this card came out because i was already you know when i was doing your cards i was already like wow capricorns are dealing through a lot you know like you guys are healing through a lot and so to see forgiveness here is like i feel like spirit wants you to also focus on self-forgiveness you know um forgiving yourself for the things that you even put yourself through you know forgiving others you know, we can forgive people without being around them. We don't have to be back in love. We don't have to be best friends again. We don't have to do those things, but we can still forgive you and love you from a distance, right? So I feel like that's what spirit wants you to do, to focus your energy on today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about the past, but focus your energy on today. Life is too precious to waste. So my love, for those of you that have been having a hard time to forgive and love, try to, again, I just feel like a lot of you are going to be going back to therapy or seeking some type of counseling, practicing some type of new spiritual ritual, okay? Whether that's reading one page of a book every day, saying a mantra to yourself every day, praying every day drinking a simple cup of tea while you you know read a book every day but i just feel like you guys are taking a turn a different turn when it comes to love you're taking a different approach and this is beautiful energy now let's look at the other one we also got the past is now behind you again we had this leave the bullshit in the past let it go right you can nobody said it's easy to forgive but nobody said you have to forget either, Capricorn, right? Fine, you don't have to forget. But the most important part about forgiveness, my love, is so that we won't, it's not so much for the other person, it's for ourselves. But the more we bring it up, we are constantly reminding ourselves of the pain that we've been through. So it's like, try your best not to keep bringing up the same old things that's causing a rift in your relationship, the same old problems that just keep causing a hurtful feeling in your relationship, you know? Try your best to forgive. For those of you that could be single, maybe this is one thing that's causing a blockage, especially when it comes to your heart chakra, my love. You have to forgive. You have to let it go. You have to find a way to say, 
I forgive you. I forgive me. I forgive us for treating each other so badly. Like, let's forgive one another, right? Like, we have to develop some type of sense of um, humility and forgiveness. We have to practice this, right? But it says the past is now behind you. Release it. Embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. So follow it with faith. Okay? Only time will tell. Only time will tell, my love. You have to follow your heart. You have to do the right things. You can't have, you know, the relationship you want, you know, if we don't let it go. And ironically, Capricorn, on my other favorite deck, you got similar energy. The same exact energy just keep popping out to you is let the past go. Let it go. Because you know what? Sometimes we feel like, oh, my God, I'm not feeling well. I'm not feeling, you know, I'm feeling sick. My chest hurt. My throat hurt. <clears throat> my stomach hurt. My back hurt. Sometimes it has nothing to do with our health at all. A lot of times our chakras are not in alignment. Like our chakras could be just so unbalanced because we are unbalanced, right? And when your heart chakra is not balanced, your root chakra is not balanced, your sacral chakra is not balanced, your throat chakra is not balanced, that means you are not expressing yourself the way you should. That means that you are not speaking with love, that you are not um you know, loving unconditionally, you are loving in a very unconditional way, okay? Because that's what it's like when our heart chakra is blocked, right? We don't operate from a position of unconditional love. We operate from a conditional way. And when you operate conditionally, there's this need of, I love you, but I don't forgive you. I don't forget, you know, I'm not going to forget what you did to me. I don't care. You hurt me. You disrespected me. I'm not taking you back. I'm not forgiving you. It's that type of energy. But love does not fail. Love is, I know you're not perfect, so I love you anyway because I'm not perfect, right? So we have to find a way to forgive. Now, with these cards, my love, you got the word stuck. And it says here, if you look at this card, I mean, it's just a bunch of cars stuck in traffic, literally. And sometimes that's how we feel in love, isn't it? Like, we just feel stuck. Like, we don't know what to do. We don't know where to go, who to talk to. Spirit says, I'm here. Just talk to me. In your own quiet time, your own space. This could be in a closet, in the bathroom, on your way to work, driving. This can be anywhere, my love. The Spirit says, speak. Let your heart not be troubled. Speak. Say what's on your mind. Speak what's on your heart. Okay? There is a blockage in your heart, and you have to let it go. The abandonment issues, the neglect issues. These don't, may not even have anything to do with what a person did to you currently. It could be something that you have gone through even as a child. And now even as an adult, you unconsciously, you, it's like you're bringing this energy into your relationship without even realizing it. Naturally sabotaging a relationship because you're just so used to seeing people walk away. Or you're so used to people breaking your heart. You're so used to people letting you down. Some of you could be used to people neglecting you and abandoning you, not paying you any attention, not letting you speak, not letting you or allowing you to be heard. So you come into a relationship feeling like you're going to dominate this. You're not going to hurt me. I'll hurt you before you hurt me. I'm not letting you get this close to my heart, right? Capricorn, this is some serious blockage for some of you. You got to let this stuff go because it's, it can definitely take a toll on your health. The screaming, the cursing, the yelling, 
the fussing, the drugs, the alcohol, whatever it is, right? We got to let it go. It says, those of you, some of you could be having a third party situation. Maybe you're stuck between that. Maybe your heart is in one place and your mind is somewhere else. Maybe you have love for one person while you're totally infatuated or in love with somebody else. That's some deep shit, by the way. But Capricorn, you got to work this out. But there's some type of barrier or blockage that's stopping you from achieving the love that you deserve. Again, it's time to focus, to clear your energy. And when it comes to this type of stuff, Capricorn, I would definitely recommend you focus on your sacral chakra energy and balance or try to balance your heart chakra energy, my love. Because, you know, those are two things that need your energy right now. You need to rebalance yourself. And I don't mean to drag this reading along. It's just that your reading got really deep when I, when it came to love, okay? And again, my love, you got to forgive. It's interesting. Like, you keep getting the same exact energy, my love. Look at this. You got forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, right? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path can be available to you, Capricorn, but you're still stuck. What are you stuck for? If you know that you are unconditionally crazy about somebody else, why are you still stuck in a situation that doesn't make your heart beat, right? Or why are you putting yourself in a situation that does not satisfy you? Spirit doesn't want you to be living a life full of sadness and drought and stuck. It's says to forgive. Tranquility. Peaceful. Peaceful mind and heart. Freedom from the past. Some of you really need to let the past go. So I don't know if this is an ex or I don't know if this is just um, a third party situation from the past. Okay. Some of some of you could be missing someone from the past. Maybe someone moved on and maybe this person is crazy missing you or you're missing them. Or you could just be simply in a relationship that needs some serious, serious healing. Okay? Forgiveness is key when it comes to your love life, honey. But when it comes to your finances, let me tell you, it's going to be a beautiful year overall. But between the month of December and January, my love, you have a lot of healing to work through, a lot of healing to do, a lot of praying to do. But Spirit wants you to know that you are protected, that you are loved, that you deserve to be loved, and you deserve forgiveness just like everyone else. So even if you have been having a hard time focusing on forgiveness, Take your time. Read some books. You know, go to a seminar if you need to. Hell, go on YouTube and look at some motivational speeches. Whatever you got to do, but get your heart together, my love. Listen to some heart chakra music. Listen to some sacred chakra music. But it's time for you to get your spirit back together because, like I said, I feel like all 2022, you've been under some type of spiritual attack. And you don't even realize it a lot of you don't even know or don't even realize that you know these these <clears throat> um energy vampires you know they just been coming for you directly and indirectly like you just haven't even noticed some came in a form of a so-called friend some energy came in a form of a so-called lover right so-called boss whatever but you are protected and that's why you woke up today and this is why you're listening to this message because spirit has a message for you spirit wanted you to know that you are not alone and that you do deserve love that you do deserve attention that you do deserve to succeed that you do deserve that blessing that you do deserve that promotion you do deserve healing okay because you are the master of manifestation okay you are a god you are a goddess you are a prince you are a princess you are the queen and you are a king my love 
step into your zone. It's time for you to march on, Capricorn. Leave the past where it's at. Leave things that no longer serve you. Leave it where it's at. Okay? I love you, Capricorn, but we definitely got to get going. I had no intentions on making this video this long. So I love you. And again, please forgive me. Please like and share this message if you can. And please don't forget to subscribe. You guys are amazing. Be blessed. Mm -hmm.